I think that some of us that are in these positions that have barely ever done drugs in our life at all, um, you know, literally for maybe a couple weeks uh, here and there, a few stints of a few weeks long, I think that there's a reason that we actually were put through those experiences and experienced those scenes so that we can be apt to who these people are and what they act like and what the schemes of these freaking liability people that have to like cover up liability for extremely worse crimes, like horrible crimes, crimes of fraud, crimes of murder, um, crimes of, of uh, defamation, medical neglect, medical mismanagement, medical disnight, mis <laughs> I can't say that, misdiagnosis leading to somebody's uh, like, loss of businesses and literally loss of decades of their life. I mean, these people are uh, guilty of extreme severe crimes, hiring people to commit federal crimes of hacking against somebody, um, you know, trying to kill somebody and then make, turn it into a different story. These people are extremely severe criminals, uh, you know, and so what they do actually is they will literally give somebody drugs and hire somebody to approach you and to give them to you to try to get you caught up just so that they can get a picture so that they can turn that into your life story when in reality uh you went to a few parties back in the day you know and you had a couple bad weeks you know but they're trying to turn this into your entire life story i'm sorry as somebody with 46 with teeth like this um that looks like you know this good at my age <laughs> i don't think so <laughs> And, you know, like I said, we've seen those scenes and it's garbage. It's pure garbage. Um, those You can't trust anybody in those scenes, you know. And so, I mean, I guess I'm really thankful for the small amount of exposure I had. And I can thank my dad for that. I can thank my dad for exposing me to that through, uh, you know, bringing in pre-releasers into his church since 1986, you know. And having a band that, you know, all went through rehab. And, uh, you know, of course it got worse once we got kicked out and removed from our ministry that was helping other people and ministering to other people and stuff like that. Um, that story is put in other videos or whatever, but my full story is going to be made fully known. Um, but anyways, yeah, just to say that, I mean, this is a trick employ of those freaks. You'll get a new job somewhere and they will literally put somebody in your path, bring somebody to you. They will give you the stuff. They'll straight up give it to you. Anything that they can do to get you on camera, you know what I mean? Messing up once so they can turn that into your entire life story to cover up their liability. And this is the stuff that's coming me to an end these days so that we can have a better tomorrow and we can have a more reasonable future and it's not an extreme strain on taxpayers and it's not costing taxpayers everything nobody's perfect we've all made our mistakes in fact that is how we learn is by making mistakes here and there but when people are so self-righteous and so disgusting that they will quit quite literally fraud you and then turn that into your whole entire life story when the reality is is that you know um you've been surveilled and you've been watched and you know that what they are saying about you is nothing but lies you know show me one person that's never messed up and the, and my dad that defamed me the most he was a gazelle junkie for a good decade and he judges people for it you know when they, when they've like got like just a small percentage and a fraction of what he's done that's called self-righteousness it's filthy rags it's disgusting in the eyes of god and uh you know um yeah you better uh, really read up on the things that God actually hates and detests.